everyone. Welcome to another QuickBooks training moment with Steiner Business Solutions. My name is Doug and today we are going to go over using the timesheet function in QuickBooks. This is real handy because you can put in employees time and it will flow right into the payroll portion of QuickBooks if you do your payroll, if you process your payroll right in QuickBooks. Um, but it also allows you to do job costing by assigning time to specific clients and then you can also bill that time based on what was put in the timesheet. So let's see, you can go right here to enter time on the on the home screen or we can go up under employees, choose enter time, and I will show you this option real quick. We enter single activity time. This is not used very often, but in this case you can actually pick a specific employee for a specific job, a specific service that he did specific payroll item which defaulted to this employee's payroll uh, item that they use and then you can put in the time here that they worked on that particular job. So this is a way to put in time for one job for one person. Um, not very efficient but there may be circumstances where this is useful. The, other, the more important uh, screen we want to go over is using the weekly timesheet. See this looks like a grid where you can put in time throughout the whole week. So we're going to choose Jonathan Graham. We're going to look at the timesheet that's already been filled out for him. Look at our first line here. In this particular case he worked for the Bowden Agency project number 12. The service item that was selected was print production coordination. The payroll item used again for this particular employee is creative director billable time. That was the payroll item. And then the class, you put in a memo here, the class, they use classes by their employees' names. So they picked Jonathan's class. And then you can see that he worked four hours on Tuesday. Okay? Second line is the same project that he's working on, but in this case, he's doing a different service item. Here he's using print production editing instead of print production coordination. So it's a different type of billable time. Same, uh, payroll item used, same memo, same class. You see for this type of work, for this client, he worked four hours on Tuesday, eight on Wednesday, eight on Thursday for a total of 20 hours. And then on the third line, they've actually set up a customer called internal company meetings. And they've actually set up a service item called unbillable time meeting. Now typically, if this is administrative work that's not related to any customer, I would just leave the customer job field blank and leave the service item blank. There's really no reason to fill those out. Um, you could track that time by track doing reporting off of this service item, but again, typically the reason you use these fields is because you want to track those costs by a customer so you can do job costing later. Um, they even created a separate payroll item for this type of work called Creative Director Staff Meetings. So you can use a different payroll item for each line if you need to. And you'll see on Saturday, four hours, so they must have had a four-hour staff meeting on Saturday. Over here, this box tells QuickBooks whether this time is billable. In this case, it's the admin time, internal time, so we don't want to bill it. Uh, here we've checked it so that this box will be billable time to this customer Bowden agency. And then this box up here, this looks that way because that means it's already been billed. That time has already been billed to... Um, to that customer. So we'll hit save and close here and then let's see how it flows into the payroll portion. Now if we go into payroll, let's pay employees. Now that pay period ended I believe 1215, that timesheet we were looking at. So we'll do this to refresh it. It's going to say, okay, you're changing the, the pay period. Do you want to refresh basically the hours that are going in here based on what's coming from the timesheet? We'll say yes. And so that puts that here. And here's Jonathan Graham. Remember, this pay period would actually be for two weeks instead of one. We only looked at the one timesheet. But for those two weeks, he worked 60 hours as creative director billable and eight hours creative director staff meeting for a total of 68 hours. So that, that information pulled directly from the timesheets that we had done for him. All right. And then you can go right in uh, and process the payroll just like you normally would. Um, we also mark some of that time billable. So let's say we want to create a customer invoice 
for that customer. I forgot who it was real quick. Let's go back here. Bowden Agency Project 12. So if I put in Bowden Agency and choose Project 12, it's going to bring me up a box that says this customer you search for or that you've selected as an outstanding billable time or cost. Do you want to select that billable time and add it to the invoice, or do you want to exclude the billable time? So we're going to hit OK and say, yeah, we want to put it on this invoice. So here's those 20 hours that we had marked for Jonathan Graham for this particular job. Let's say we want to include them all on the invoice. So we'll select them all, hit OK, and there you go. Put 20 hours of his time. Must not have a default rate, so we're going to go ahead and put in a rate of $40 an hour. That's how we bill our customer. And there you go. It just pulled that time from his timesheet right onto this customer's invoice. You don't have to use that if you don't want to, but that feature's there. So that's how you use the timesheets in QuickBooks. I hope this was helpful for you. Um, if you like the video, make sure you give it a thumbs up on YouTube. Um, look at the top of your screen and you'll see a link where you can subscribe to our page and you'll be notified every time we post a new video. Um, we're always posting new QuickBooks videos um, to help you guys be more comfortable with QuickBooks. Um, follow us on Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter, all the social media sites, and uh, have a great day. Thanks.